Whoa. Wow. Today, like many of you, I'm sure I've got plenty of work that I should be doing, but I am neglecting that in the name of presenting you with yet another upcycling video. Um, I have four flips that I'm going to show you guys in this video and it definitely has nothing to do with the fact that the raw footage for these videos has just been sitting on my phone for months and months. So I definitely like to purge it. I would, I definitely like to clear out my phone. It's like popping a big zit, you know, just, oh, it's gone. It's clean. It's okay. But anyway, it's my pleasure to present to you <laughs> these upcycling flips. I hope you guys enjoy. This first upcycle is of a vintage scale I got for free in a box of throwaways. I took it apart and boiled it with baking soda and a ball of aluminum foil to get rid of any tarnish. But since that's more of a hack for silver, and this classy gal is definitely just pewter, there's no hidden shiny metal revealed, so instead I just gave her a coat of um, fresh gold paint and then re-aged the metal with a wash of black acrylic paint and water. I ended up selling it on Facebook Marketplace for a whopping $10 because I'm a coward when it comes to pricing, and ironically enough I sold it to a local politician um, which I just think is funny because it's a non-functional scale it's just for looks so that's poetic so here's the finished product This next blow up is not super complicated, but the change is drastic. I got this jewelry box from a thrift store for $2 about five months ago and painted it, but what do you know, it's absolutely hideous, especially the yellow insides. So I decided to take a risk and paint the felt with a few layers of acrylic paint, and what do you know, it worked perfectly. I stuck with a safe color while painting the outside, and voila, a actually lost patience trying to sell this one on marketplace and i already have a jewelry box so i literally just re-donated my little flip and lost two dollars plus supplies and time costs but i learned that you can paint felt and it works out just fine so wasn't a total waste Next makeover is a basic piano bench, which used to belong to my brother-in-law. And when Maverick and I got married, he let me give it a little glow up. Of course, I had to start with just taking everything apart, removing the legs and then the cushion cover and the upholstery staples. And this was really the most time consuming part. I had a bit of a hard time with vision on this one, figuring out what kind of legs I wanted, what kind of upholstery, so like everything. So I just tried a few different things before settling on what you'll see at the end of this section. Uh, I really just, charge forward anyway and I made a bunch of mistakes which I have just condensed for you here. I also purposely burned my carpet here with the iron just to teach my audience the importance of safety in the workplace. The first fabric I used was really just not good for upholstery. It went on fine but it just wasn't as strong as I needed it to be and at one point I actually took my fabric choice to Instagram and took a poll which I then promptly ignored when I found this new faux woven leather fabric at Walmart. This little guy now rests in my kitchen and one day I will remember to take him to my keyboard you know, where a piano bench is like supposed to be. So of course this final project is probably the most straightforward of them all. I found this piece for 20 bucks on Facebook Marketplace and I just like the structure, but the chalky white and gray paint was just a little too plain and 2013 for me. And you know, I'm like super hip and I really do like bold colors. So I went in with this really pretty satin brick color that you see. And then I stained the top of it with a dark walnut wood stain and gave it a coat of lacquer before putting a bunch of useless stuff in there to show you how I'd style it instead of how I'd use it practically. But in all seriousness, I really love it. It pulls the whole space together. That's it for me today, guys. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed watching and were inspired to give some of your old doodads a little shine and sparkle. So stay goofy, my friends, and have a great day.